Hello students, myself Rahul Kotkar. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the mechanical properties of fluids. This is our lecture number 6. In the previous lectures, we studied about the molecular behavior and surface tension as well as surface energy. Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss the different phenomenons related to the surface tension and here first we have to understood the relation between the surface energy and surface tension. So for that we consider a rectangular frame of wire P P dash S dash S. You observe this diagram in which you can see here P P dash S dash S be the rectangular frame let in which the side QR is movable without friction and this QR having a length L. Okay. The frame is dipped in a soap solution and taken out a film of soap solution forms within boundaries PQRS of the frame. So, as you dip this particular rectangular frame inside the soap solution, a soap film is formed on it, okay, and having a boundary is PQRS, okay. You just observe the diagram. Where is the PQRS? Okay, that is a soap film. Due to film, each of the arm of frame experience a force. The movable arm QR moves towards PS so as this area of film decreases. Okay, so friends, it's a simple because the formation of film here. Okay, what happens? This QR will be get move inside because the film applies the so film applies the force on the edges. P, S, P, Q, S, R as well as Q, R. But fact is that all these are fixed. Only the Q, R is movable. And so what happens? The Q, R can be moved towards P, S like this. Okay. The inward force acting on length of Q, R is given by. What is the inward force? Okay. Here. We have a formula for surface tension T is equals to force divided by length. That is the force acting per unit length. So on this particular length L, the force acting is given by F is equal to T multiplied by L. Okay. So in this manner we have get this formula T multiplied by twice L. Why the twice L is there? So here T be the surface tension of the film and twice L be the total length which is in a contact with the surface. Means here the factor 2 indicates that the film has two surfaces because that so film is formed on the upper side as well as on the lower side. Means what? The forced acting on a length is a twice. Okay, because from the upper soap film as well as means a part of the soap film is an upward direction as well as in a downward direction. Along the both side, the soap film is there which acts a force on that length L and so we consider here the length as a twice L. So, if the external force F dash, okay, now we apply the external force F dash opposite to the inward force to slide QR isothermally to increase the surface area. Okay, means as I have to move this particular side QR outwardly, so what I have to apply? I have to apply the external force F dash. Okay, this external force F dash is opposite to inward force. Okay, which is exactly equal and opposite to the inward force. So, which will increase the 
surface area but the side qr displaced by a distance dx towards q dash r dash okay means it's a very simple and under the application of force f dash the side will be moves side qr okay will moves to the distance q dash r dash okay and it is a considerable like a dx so means what under the action of force f dash the side qr moves through a displacement dx and that can be nothing but the work done produced so how much the work done is there that can be given by equation work done in stretching the film is given by that is f dash into dx okay that is a amount of work done for moving the side qr to q dash r dash through displacement dx so as you know the value of force as we observe there f is equals to f dash in magnitude because both are having a equal force you must be have to apply the equal or greater force than f to move the slide from qr to qr q dash r dash <coughs> then by substituting this value t multiplied by 2l okay we have here as 2l multiplied by dx okay what is this 2l multiplied by dx that is nothing but your length multiplied by thickness okay and so it's the formula related to the area okay so what is that that is nothing but your 2l multiplied by dx that is nothing but the da that is a increase in area or surface area of two surfaces in the film okay means will it will be considerable considerable like that there is the increase in the surface area along the both sides of the film okay so this is a da so therefore we will have a formula dw is equals to surface tension t multiplied by increase in area da and that will gives us okay this is nothing but your work done in stretching the film is stored in the area da of film as its potential energy this energy is called surface energy okay if you are uh, if suppose it should be the somewhat difficult to understood it's a very simple the work done is nothing but what that is a energy okay here this energy is stored in the film as its potential energy because as the qr stretched to q dash r dash as you remove the force f dash external force so what happens this will again regains to its original position qr means what we can say here this is the form of potential energy stored okay and this energy stored is called surface energy okay and so dw can be written as a u where u stands here potential energy or you may call surface energy also so therefore u is equals to t multiplied by da okay in this manner this is the relation and now according to that relation what we can write t is equal to okay uh, before that i have to say something here u is equals to t multiplied by da this will be indicates here this is the surface energy and this is the surface tension so this is nothing but the relation between surface tension and surface energy okay using the above relation what we can say the t is equals to u divided by da but u is nothing but what work done so w divided by a also and that is nothing but the uh, definition of surface tension by other way okay the surface tension is equals to the surface energy per unit area means this is the another definition related to the surface tension which is what the surface tension is defined as 
that is the surface energy per unit area and it have a unit joule per meter square energies unit is joule and areas unit is meter square and according to that it is a joule per meter square okay so simply this is the answer of the question that we uh, express there uh, in case of the SI unit okay what is the SI unit or why it should have a joule per meter square okay SI unit of surface tension is joule per meter square explain okay that is a question in your book also so that is the answer of this one so friends I am going to show a simple video uh, okay that is related to the formation of soft film and how it will be acts the force on that particular film okay so look the video observe this video carefully in which we observe that this is the frame like PQRS okay on which the metal piece shows here the side sliding piece that is a QR as it dips inside the soap solution and remove it there is a formation of soap bubble or soap film okay and this soap film form here okay as you put it outside the soap solution what happens there is a formation of soap film okay now how it acts the force on the uh, movable slide side that is shown here okay by pressing a simply by pressing a simply okay as you press the soft film or break the soft film so what happens due to the greater tension acting inwardly it will be moves smoothly okay so what the oh, what it shows simply that is the action of okay even the soap film form there can also apply the force on a metal piece which is a smoothly movable that is a without friction okay that simple means how it should be work or how the rectangular film works that I will show in that video now remember the work done under the isothermal condition against the force of surface tension to change the surface area of a liquid is stored as a surface energy of liquid okay means what that is the work done under the isothermal condition against the force means you are applying a certain force on a particular object okay or on a surface area of liquid so that will be stored in the form of surface energy under the isothermal condition okay now the next topic that we have to start the angle of contact angle of contact the definition of angle of contact is the angle between tangent drawn to the free surface of liquid and surface of solid at the point of contact measured within the liquid okay you can see the diagram and this diagram what we observe there is the liquid like a water which is taken in a glass and the capillary tube is dipped inside it so the liquid will rises in it and now it will form here the convex meniscus uh, sorry concave meniscus in case of this concave meniscus what you observe what is our definition so our definition is the angle between the tangent drawn to the free surface of liquid you can see here there is the line drawn here there is a tangent drawn to the free surface of liquid okay and it is an angle how it should be it is the angle in between the line drawn to the free surface of liquid and the surface of solid at the point of contact okay 
where the tangent is drawn at the point of contact between the liquid and solid okay i will show it you again so look here how the angle is formed the angle should be measured from the surface of solid to the tangent drawn to the liquid surface at the point of contact of the liquid and solid and which is always measured within the liquid okay so this is the angle of contact you can understood this one again by using the next diagram okay now this is the mercury which is taken in a glass and as a capillary dipped inside it so what happens the mercury level falls okay this phenomenon that we have to study in the next lectures okay here you, you just understood that what is you observe you observe that there is the formation of convex meniscus okay now mercury forms here convex meniscus and it will be falls inside the capillary so what is the definition according to the definition the angle in between tangent drawn how the tangent is drawn like this tangent drawn to the free surface of liquid and surface of solid okay tangent drawn to the free surface of liquid and surface of solid at the point of contact okay and this angle should be always measured from then the liquid so in this manner this is about your angle of contact okay i think you understood this okay then when the meniscus is convex the meniscus is convex the angle of contact is obtuse okay that is greater than 90 and it can be occur in case of mercury in a glass as you observe in the second figure and when the meniscus is concave the angle of contact is acute that is less than 90 degree so you can observe it into the first diagram that is a water in a glass okay these are the always uh, this things always remember concave meniscus and convex meniscus concave meniscus is always shown by water or kerosene okay substance like water or kerosene and convex is always shown by mercury okay this difference between the shapes of the meniscus is due to the net effect of the cohesive forces between the liquid molecules and adhesive forces between the liquid and solid molecules as discussed below okay so what is that simply you observe there somewhere there is a formation of concave meniscus somewhere there is a formation of convex meniscus okay so why this so occurs somewhere the concave and convex this is because a simple okay that is a difference between the shapes of meniscus can be affected by or this is due to what the result of cohesive and adhesive forces cohesive forces between the liquid molecules and adhesive forces between the liquid and solid molecules okay under the action of this forces means intermolecular forces there is the formation of different types of meniscus she has say as to concave as well as convex meniscus okay then you observe there angle of contact for a different liquid solid peers okay so in case of this you will observe there liquid solid okay liquid is given in the first column second column having a solid and then angle of contact so for a pure water remember it's this one is the pure water not only the water okay for a pure water and clean glass it should be the zero okay in this manner for a different liquid solid peers the table shows the value of angle of contact which are measured in the degree so remember this table is not for your uh, uh, just for your knowledge it is not to remember okay so it's our angle of contact 
okay we'll try to understand it hope so okay and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment sections the next point that we have to start here the question is given in your book uh, sorry the knowledge purpose there is the things given to in your book when we observe the level of water in the capillary we note down the level of the tangent to the meniscus inside the water okay read it carefully what they say when we have to note the level of the water in the capillary we note down the level of the tangent to the meniscus inside the water i will show the diagram here in case of water okay what is that here the concave meniscus is formed okay and to note down the level of the water okay it is not correct method to note the water level like this means this is the sharp edge of the concave meniscus okay and if you note this one means if you have to note the height of the liquid column so at that time you do uh, it is wrong if you note this level so what is the correct method the correct method is that if you note this particular level which is shown here by dotted line means that is the tangent drawn to the downside to the meniscus inside the water okay this is a correct method to note the level of the water or height of the liquid column say as to water okay in case of only concave meniscus if okay next is your when we observe the level of mercury in a capillary we note down the level of the tangent to the meniscus above the mercury column okay simply in case of mercury there is the formation of convex meniscus and in that case remember that if you note this level while measuring the height of mercury column if you note this levels for measuring the height okay so it is a wrong so which is the correct method for that you have to be note the dotted line like this okay means which is the tangent drawn to the meniscus above the mercury column okay like this so these are the points that you have to be noted okay next point that we have to start that is the shape of meniscus okay it is a important point shape of meniscus so here we have to study the different shapes okay so first one that is a concave meniscus that is a acute angle of contact okay concave meniscus that is a acute angle of contact acute means the angle should be less than 90 okay so here we consider that the solid and liquid okay means liquid is taken inside the solid okay say as to kerosene is taken into the solid and this diagram will be shows us only the part okay in which the liquid and solid in a contact okay means if you consider the vessel so this solid will have this is the magnifying portion of solid okay this is the liquid may consider like this okay so in this manner this is your total container but here we only discuss the part which is in the contact okay for a solid as well as liquid so here we consider that the liquid is taken inside the solid say as to kerosene and glass now let we consider here the molecule a which is situated in a liquid and solid contact okay means the molecule a is placed or considered in such a way that it is present in a contact of liquid as well as in a solid also now here we consider that okay so we know that when this molecule a is present in contact with the solid as well as in contact of the liquid so the solid exerts 
the force on it or you may call simply the cohesive force as well as adhesive force are acting on this molecule. So let here we consider that AP, AP is the net adhesive force between the solid and liquid. Okay, A is the liquid molecule and so the force of attraction between the liquid molecule A and the molecules of the solid that is the adhesive force and which is acting like this AP. Then we consider that AC be the net cohesive force between the liquid liquid molecules. Okay, means molecule A is of the liquid and other liquid molecules are present inside the liquid. So they will have a force of attraction and that is nothing but the net cohesive force between the liquid and liquid molecules shown here by AC. Okay. You can observe the AC here. Then as you observe AP is directed okay, in diagram like a left side and here AC is somewhat towards the downward. So according to the law of parallelogram or using that particular concept of law of parallelogram okay, what we can do? We can draw the resultant of AP and AC. So here as you observe that AP should be greater and AC should be smaller. Okay. The adhesive force acting due to the solid is greater. So AP is longer and cohesive force due to the liquid molecule is smaller. Okay. So AC is shorter. So the resultant of this both that is AR. What is that? The net force on molecule A because of cohesive as well as adhesive force. Okay, and that should be the lies inside the solid. Okay, so this is what AR. The net force on the molecule A lies inside the solid AR which is shown here in the diagram and which can be obtained by using a simple method of law of parallelogram. Okay, by which we can draw simply okay, the vector this is AP, this is AC. So we draw the parallel vector to AP, we draw parallel vector to AC and this will be get the resultant vector say as to AR. By this method we will calculate the AR. Okay. Then now we have to withdraw the tangent to the liquid surface. Okay. While drawing this tangent Look here, remember that this tangent should be the normal to the AR. Means it is a perpendicular to AR. Okay, you can see again, this AT should be drawn in such a way that which is a tangent to the liquid surface and normal to AR. Okay, then as per the definition of angle of contact, so how we can define the theta so theta is the angle in between the solid surface and the tangent drawn that is a AT at the point of contact. So angle is measured like this. Okay, from inside we measured it. Okay, and that is the angle in between the solid surface and the tangent drawn AT. So that is nothing but your angle of contact. What you observe here this theta should be less than 90 degree that is acute angle as theta is less than 90 degree so that is what acute angle that is a less than 90 and so what we can say here as adhesive force is greater as compared to the cohesive force means force of the solid okay force due to the solid molecules is greater as compared to the liquid molecules so liquid creep up Either you may call pile up means it will be get accumulated towards the solid okay forms concave meniscus and liquid partially wets the solid so remember in this case liquid partially wets the solid okay you have to remember this so we can give the example of kerosene in a glass in many more cases the example is given in such a way that 
the kerosene in a glass as well as water in a glass but remember you can consider the water but do not consider the pure water in case of pure water the angle of contact as well as shape of meniscus is different okay we will study this one in the next lecture or okay here you can see here what is the last two sentence mentioned the adhesive force is greater and cohesive force is smaller because of that the liquid get creeped up or you may call it get accumulated to the solid and which forms the concave meniscus and liquid partly wets the solid okay now this is a diagram which is given in your book but one more thing is that we have to note here the ap should be the greater while drawing or while observing this diagram in your book so remember ap should be greater and ac should be smaller okay means you have to make this correction in this diagram then and then ar should be in the solid otherwise it comes inside the liquid or very closer to the solid okay so this is about the shape of meniscus and which is related to the acute angle of contact or concave meniscus okay remember this is for liquid partially wet the solid next one that is the convex meniscus that is obtuse angle of contact okay here again we consider the same thing but here which is the liquid and which is the solid so liquid taken inside the solid okay say as to mercury filled in a solid so at that time okay there is the formation of convex meniscus okay means when the liquid and solid are in a contact so at that time they have a certain shape like this actually this shape should be like this somewhat uh, sorry it should be somewhat like this but the you can observe here this one okay now we consider a be the molecule of liquid situated inside the liquid and in contact with the solid means here the a be the liquid molecule which is same of a mercury or given liquid okay and which is in a contact with the solid so let here we consider the sphere of influence of this particle or molecule a okay now here we consider that ap be the net adhesive force between the solid and liquid as a is the liquid molecule and here the solid is in contact of it so what happens there is the force exerted by the solid molecules okay and that net adhesive force between both that is the solid and liquid is given by ap which is shown in this diagram by arrow ap then next is your ac ac be the net cohesive force between the liquid and liquid okay so it is a cohesive force between the same molecules of liquid a and the liquid molecule and that is here represented as a ac okay now after that you can see as this is the ap due to the cohesive force uh, sorry ap due to the adhesive force and ac is the result of cohesive force so the result of both there is the formation of resultant force okay we have to calculate the resultant force again use the same method that is a law of parallelogram and using that one you can say here if suppose we draw parallel here okay to ac and again we have to draw parallel to p or ap so in that case you will get the resultant like this okay means in this manner we got a resultant okay here as ap should be the smaller and ac should be the greater then what we can say the cohesive force is greater as compared to the adhesive force okay and that's why what we can say ar be the net force on a molecule a and which is lies inside the liquid how it should be lies inside the liquid that we can see here that is a ar 
okay that the resultant of ap and ac which is lies inside the liquid according to the law of parallelogram then at at be the tangent drawn to the liquid surface okay remember we have to draw tangent to the liquid surface okay and which is normal to ar also like this as a tangent drawn to the liquid surface which is normal to ar okay then what is the theta theta be the angle in between the solid surface and the tangent drawn at according to the definition of angle of contact so look here what is this angle of contact theta okay so here this angle should be measured from inside the liquid and that is in between the solid surface and the tangent drawn and which is greater than 90 degree that is obtuse angle okay so as f is the adhesive force f should be less as compared to the cohesive force okay means the force due to the solid molecules should be less and the force due to the liquid molecule is greater so liquid creep inside okay to the solid and forms convex meniscus means at that point a the cohesive force is greater so that molecules of liquid are moves inside or they get accumulated towards the side of liquid and the forms the convex meniscus at the point of contact and in this case remember liquid do not weights the solid liquid do not weights the solid and this can occurs when the mercury is deep or uh, mercury is filled inside the glass okay so friends this is related to the convex meniscus that is a obtuse angle of contact and in this case remember that the cohesive force is greater as compared to the adhesive force and liquid do not weights the solid and this can be occurs mercury in a glass okay so this diagram is your noted in your book okay so you should compare both and try to understood okay how the convex of uh, convex meniscus is formed or how the obtuse angle of contact is formed okay so friends in this manner we discuss here the formation of shapes of meniscus okay again we have to study the remaining one in the next lectures thanks for watching this video okay